Hey, check out Betway, the sports betting app that backs you to trust your sports instincts. Got a hunch on this week's sports? Got a feeling for the Raptors, the Leafs, maybe the Flames? If that sounds like you, opt into the Betway Parlay Club today and earn $10 in free bets. When you place $25 or more on sports multiples or bet builder bets with at least three selections, you'll receive $10 back in free bets. This offer is available every week, so head over to Betway and bet your way. Must be 19 years or older. Please play responsibly. This one's from Winter Soldier 31 on our Discord. I thought it was a fun one. So, Steve, you're GM of the Toronto Maple Leafs. Adam, you can be Steve's AGM. Okay. Joe Sackett comes to you, GM of the Colorado Avalanche, and he says, Kale McCarr only wants to play in Toronto. Wow. That's it. He's refusing to play unless he plays in Toronto. Work through me a hockey trade of fair value for both sides that'll move Kale McCarr to the Toronto Maple Leafs. First and foremost, I have leverage. You can only trade him to me. Mm-hmm. You have a, yeah, you have a little bit of leverage, yeah. but like your GMs in the NHL, so your buddies, it's a club of no. 32, and you always do good deals with the other GMs. You, don't, you never see, oh, we're going to trade Kale McCarr for a seventh. Like, that's not Ain't no old. friends, Joe. Ain't no fr- Okay. So you got to be reasonable about this. Put this in reality. Okay. Makar is going to be in the Norris conversation for a long time. Matthews is going to be in the Hart conversation for a long time. They're both, frankly, going to be in the Hart conversation for a long time. It's crazy that we're having such a, a passioned Hart talk. And Kale McCarr is not in it. And Makar is not part of it. Yeah. Like, he's, he's absolutely absurd. So, uh, it's certainly not Austin Matthews. So, the only thing I can offer you that's close to fair value for Kale McCarr is Mitch Marner. Um, Sweetener? With with Mitch? Mm, I might offer to retain to make the money match. Mm. Uh, and it wouldn't... That's not a lot. That's I don't know what percent of the contract that is, but considering I have the leverage, he only wants to come here. It's uh, a Duncan Keith Edmonton situation. Yeah, so if we're talking, like, if is Kel McCarr the only... It's a little different. It's, yeah, sorry. I just In sort what of way that, are we speaking? I, that, I mean, I know that's how, I know that's how Ken Holland that's saw it. That's how it works. Yeah. I know Ken Holland saw Duncan Keith and, and Kel McCarr and said, definitely the same. <laughs> so is Kel McCarr the only part of this deal from the uh, no. Avalanche? No, no, no you got to make no. it deal work. Add, add pieces oh, if yeah. you want more. Yeah, definitely add more on the Avalanche side, for sure. Because, <laughs> well, no, no, no. I was just thinking because Marner... For Makar, like, yes, they get this huge upgrade up front, and then mm-hmm. there's this giant uh, v- hole. <laughs> you got to fill it <laughs> on, in somehow. on the back end. I don't. You know what? We're going back and forth here. We're we're negotiating. So I say, <laughs> all right, how close are we? So I want him next week to be like, all right, here's what I want. Oh, you want Joe Sackick to throw back? Adam, do you want to uh, cosplay Joe Sackick? Gonna pull up the roster and offer anything. Ah oh, man, if I'm <laughs> I'm, I'm Sackick and I like it doesn't okay. So here's what I would say. Mm. You're doing the the TikTok. <laughs> um so here's how I'd look at it. Matthews is the best player on the Leafs. Mm-hmm. Best player on the Avs is McKinnon. Yep. So we're talking about the second best player from each team. McCarr. What's gonna so here's what I want to do. I want to double down because the, the Avs D is pretty good. I want to yeah. double down on making the Avs better at what they're good at. So my ask is minimum Mitch Marner, but because he makes eleven million dollars a year, the Leafs have to throw something a, a few more things in. Sandine? Marner Ooh, and Sandine. You gotta have to get a defenseman back. I'll and... throw the phone at your forehead. <laughs> you know, maybe you ask for a Lilligren and a pick. Because Kale McCarr is going to be like I don't know if people realize what a what a player this is. Yo, Marner. Same McKinnon. with Marner though. Same with fucking Marner. Marner McKinnon. He's been amazing for the next half decade. That'd be insane. <laughs> Marner then, McKinnon Rantanen. <laughs> yeah, that's what you know what I mean. Like if I have to make this deal and Kale McCarr is leaving and he yeah. wants out, then it's like then I'm gonna he's my second best player, so I'm gonna ask for your second best player. And there's a salary differentiator here. So you're gonna have to. You're gonna. I need it. I need a warm body to play defense, mm-hmm. preferably somebody young. So I ask for Sandine or Lilligren, mm-hmm. and then I get a pick as well, a high pick, a first or a second. 
Minimum. See, if I'm the Leafs, I'm annoyed you even ask to help bridge that gap on D, though, because you have so many uh, good young defensemen who can potentially help fill that void. You're asking Sam Gerrard to step into a bigger role, which he can. Bowen Byram is a fourth overall pick, and you know, I think once he recovers, he's still got an amazing NHL career ahead of him. I, I, want, I want a counter. I want a counter. I'm offering to whatever the salary retention is, mm-hmm. I'm offering Marner from a car, I'll retain to make the money even. You come back to me with what you want. Do you want to leave it with the discard? So everybody in the press the conference discard. questions uh, like channel, oh. come back with us as Joe Sackick in what you're offering but, in reply to Steve. But please have fun with it. Yeah. Don't make this like, oh, yeah, they would never do that. Obviously. Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Curse out people's mothers. Yeah. <laughs> DM them. Yeah. I, I publicly called you an asshole, and I would also like to privately call, call you, you an, an asshole. asshole. <laughs> Any other questions, Jesse? Uh, last thing. This is from Boodles01, Buffalo Sabres fan, because you can specify that on our server. Hmm. More of a comment than a question. For those Leafs fans convinced that the Sabres are going to win the outdoor game on Sunday, mm-hmm. the Sabres have never won an outdoor game. Lease oh, well, fans, that seals it. Leafs fans are convinced the Sabres will win, but the Sabres fans are convinced that they will lose yet again to a road team in an outdoor game. Yeah, you're this wrong. is going to be a, well, one of you has to win, damn it, kind of game. Oh, it's going to the shootout then. It's definitely going to the shootout. Mm-hmm. No one's winning because they won. Whose pain is stronger? The Buffalo Sabres never winning an outdoor game or the Leafs kind of going, what are they? Just one game under 500? I think they're one and two in outdoor game. Buffalo Sabres fans' pain is more sadistic. Leafs fans' pain is more magical. You know what Mm -hmm. I mean? Um, I think... (laughs) To to get religious about it. Okay. uh, I think Buffalo Sabres fans' pain is how Christians view hell. Huh. And Leafs fans' pain is how the ancient Greeks view hell. I don't... Like Tantalus good. and Sisyphus and stuff like that. Where, uh, was which one was it? Sisyphus was the one who had to push the rock up the hill. And he would make progress and he'd be like, look at me. Mm-hmm. And then the rock would fall down the hill and he would have to start again. Mm. Whereas, I mean, the other one is just burning in hellfire for all eternity. Which, that's the Sabres. <laughs> I, I <laughs> did this hit. <laughs> this is, this is I I don't I don't know. <laughs> did you go to Catholic school? <laughs> I did. You did. I did. You, went to, you guys, you're Catholic too. Yeah, yeah I went to Catholic school. Did you guys? School? You got both. Oh, we both convert. feel terrible. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you must. Everything be, I've ever done is wrong. Yeah, yeah. God, you must feel so guilty for this show. Oh yeah. yeah. Um, oh, this dude. Awful. <laughs> Roman Catholic Italian mother. I hate myself. 